How does a two-minute Android application look like? First, we download the Android SDK from the website and also processing for Android, which is free and open source. We can work with all the sensors on the device now, location, cameras, face detection built on the cameras, Wi-Fi networking, Wi-Fi direct networking, Bluetooth networking, read and write NFC tags, work with data, work with SQLite databases, and also multi-touch. This is what we're going to build now. First, we're going to start with a typical processing sketch, which uses void setup to initialize the sketch and void draw to draw the screen 60 times a second. Then we uh, center the rectangle by translating to half the width and half the height and draw a rectangle at 0, 0 with a rect size, width and height. We'll set the width and height to 100 pixels and uh, also make the rect mode go centered so this is how it's going to look like. Now, next we're going to get the Kita library which is responsible for the actual gestures and uh, we'll import the UI package, create a Kita gesture class variable called gesture and then we can work with pinch multi-touch gestures. It has a XY position and a distance D and if we take our rectangle size and then increase it by D we can scale the rectangle like we see it here. Now we can also rotate using also two finger multi-touch gesture. Also the rotation has a position XY and an angle of our rotation. If we introduce a new variable called rectangle we can actually work with it to rotate our scene here and we'll use the rotate method and the rect angle to do just that. Now we can scale and rotate. Because we don't erase the background we have also these trails. Next we introduce color. So if we use a rect color and a fill color um, with that exact rect color we can actually draw the rectangles with the fill color. We'll change the color on flick which is another short gesture to change the color randomly. So we use the random method to change the color for red, green, and blue. So if we start this now, we have the final sketch. Besides multi-touch, Kita helps us working with sensors, geolocation, the cameras, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi Direct, NFC, data, SQLite databases. So the chapters in this book um, all individually talk about each one of those classes.